And it's so you know, real. I'm at anything you need me to, to you need me to sign some, change my statement or something. Let me know. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, as y'all know, FBG Butter had an interview with Cam Capone News. Shout out to Cam Capone, man. But um, he had an interview with him the day he was actually recently arrested. So this was literally his last interview before being incarcerated. Now, he spoke on Lil J. He called him Lil G Word. And he spoke on the snitching allegations. He cleared up some things on his end and mentioned that Lil J was basically lying on him about snitching. Now, the moral to the whole story is this, right? I'm assuming that everything from his point of view is that Lil J dropped fake paperwork and dropped the picture at him in the station to divert the picture of the transgender individual that Lil J was supposedly messing with while he was in the county. Now he's saying that it dropped at the same time and he was just trying to get the heat off his back and create a diversion so he used him and came up with the snitch allegations towards FBG Butter. Alright? Now, I see what he's saying and that may be true. To be honest with you, that will be a good tactic if that was his clear intentions on doing so because you know that'll make Lil J look a little crazy alright and like I said it might have some truth to it however Lil J been calling Butter a snitch and said that Butter was telling on him a long time ago if y'all been keeping up with this situation then you'll know that back in 2017 Lil J called home telling people that FBG Butter was testifying against him in his next court date so it's not like something that just came about due to the transgender photo surfacing or whatever. He been a legend that FBG Butter told him. Alright, so he's basically saying that um, like when it comes to FBG Butter, he's saying what happened and what led to him supposedly telling. He said that he needed an affidavit from Lil J and he told him he needed it and Lil J said he was going to give it to him. Then in return, he says that he told Lil J that he'll sign whatever he needed him to sign or he'll change his statement or anything he said he'll do it just let him know right now let's stop right there and this is why people need to pay attention because if he never said anything incriminating or anything that could get Lil J in trouble then why would he need to change his statement in the first place matter of fact why was there even a statement to begin with you telling people like this right I don't want to talk until I have my lawyer present simple and he already told us that from the gate, you know, supposedly he had a lawyer. So there should be no reason why he gave a statement or said something without a lawyer being present. All right. That's that's just, that's one thing. Now, I don't know how they case went or whatever they case may be. However, I know there shouldn't be no statement involved. And anybody that ever been in a situation like that, please chime in, in the comments and let all of us know how that usually goes. Right. But um. He then says this, he said nobody knew who he was until he got clapped by us. When he was explaining the whole situation with how dude, whoever shot his friend, he's saying that they didn't know about him or whatever the case may be. His exact words was nobody knew who dude was until he got clapped by us. <laughs> now, I don't know, but pretty much he told on himself. <laughs> All right. Once again. I think that was just a bad case of him running his mouth a little too quick and saying something that he had no business saying, but he did in fact say that. And I'm going to leave the video pinned in the comments below so y'all can check it out yourselves and see exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, so the story is this, that everyone told, including Lil J, all the girls, everybody that was there, everybody told except for him. All right. Only thing he said was, he said, N-word pop my homie. That's what he said. He said he told the um, police that the N-word popped my homie. Now, I'm not no rocket scientist, but I do know that if you said someone popped your homie to the police, they're going to ask you who. All right, that's just a no-brainer. If you say the N-word popped my homie, they're going to say, all right, well, who's, who's the guy that popped your homie? And then you'll be forced to tell them who you're talking about. So isn't that considered snitching? Well, maybe I'm bugging. I don't know. 
But he's saying his defense was the reason he said that is because nobody knew who Dude was that ran up on him. But at the end of the day, that's tricky because once the police find a suspect, now they're going to approach you and ask you if this or that person was a suspect because you said that such and such N-word popped your homie. So they're expecting you to know or, you know, give them some type of something. And like I said, you already said that X, Y, and Z shot your friend. So you can't say that you don't know. So it's kind of weird. It's kind of sticky. I don't know. At the end of the day, I know that FBG Butter just found himself back in another situation. So his integrity will be tested yet once again. Because right after he did this interview with Cam Capone, he was arrested by the cops on yet another weapon charge. So, you know, due to a weapon being a vehicle that him and some of his guys was in. And like I said, I'm going to leave a link to the Cam Capone interview pinned in the comments below so you guys can check it out for yourselves and make your own decisions off of what you see. Now, the only thing I can say to Butter, man, he, when he came home, he should have been a little more low. I think he let the op get to his head. He let all the snitching allegations get to his head. He was doing the interviews. He was going on live. Uh, he had guns and nothing but all his lives. He's showing it off. That don't look like somebody that just came from doing time to me, but... It just is what it is. Y'all let me know y'all feel in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.